Hello humans, I'm you Schiller and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Folks, it is June! June 1st is today! We have entered the sixth month of the year. It is the month before July and after May, it's June! And you know what that means? It means new fish, new insects, one or two different events, and I'll address each of those as the month goes on. Today, hmm, I'm not 100% sure what I want to cover. I might do a little fishing, I might do a little bug catching, I might do a little terraforming, I might talk to some of my villagers and see what's new. I don't really have one exact topic today, but I'm sure Animal Crossing will provide something for me to do today. Right now in Aquanet, it is 5.53 p.m. on Monday, June 1st, 2020. I can't believe it's June already. It just feels like love is in the air. I guess it is wedding season. Some folks say that anyone married in June will be blessed with a lifetime of happiness. What a romantic idea. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoyed the loveliest of lovely days. All right. Very good. Well, Isabel, thank you for the warm welcome. June is a pretty warm month. But thankfully, my island is based around water, and I will try to get more aquatic things here. My phone is ringing. Uh-oh, what's happening? Hope oh, this is good news. Hello? Oh, hey, it's Harvey. I'm calling on the phone parts of your phone. So, hey, I know this is out of the blue and everything, but I, like, might need kind of a favor. I've got some real sweet folks here who want some special photos made. I could use an extra paw if that's okay. Wait, you have hands, don't you? You can bring those, too. Think you could ramble your way to Photopia and help a shutter dog out? I'll fill you in when you get here. To get to Photopia, go to the airport and tell them you want to go to Harv's Island. Okay, I'll see you soon. I've always had the opportunity to go to Harv's Island, but I've never actually taken it up. I don't really know this Harv guy that well, but he called me and sounds desperate, and I was looking for something to do today, so maybe that is what I'll do today. Okay, well first we've got something from Bengal. Know what I love about glasses? How much they change your face! Wait, that came out wrong. I just think it would be cool if you looked like a totally different person. I don't take offense to that. I didn't wear glasses till I was in 11th grade. And I just... I just got used to it. Fireflies light up the night sky, taking my mind off the stresses of the day. As I watch, amazed and distracted, the mosquitoes make their move. Oh, mosquitoes are in season now. That's true. It's very, very true. Okay, and the nook shopping. Please accept the sincere thanks of continued patronage of nook shopping. We'd like to inform you that we have some wonderful new seasonal offerings in stock. Please take a look when you can. Alright, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw that one away, but I'll keep the one from Mom and Bangle. All right, what do they what do they send me? And how's my inventory looking? Also, is someone walking over there? Someone's over there. Hang on a second before I go to Harv's Island. Who's at this chunk of the island? You're over here. What are you doing over here? This is my flower garden. Yeah, you could access it with. E oh, okay. Lots of different things going on. I gotta grab this. And then, how are you doing? How are you doing, Lambkins? I asked first. Let's chat. Clear skies are amazing. They really make you think about how huge our galaxy is, you know? Like, sunlight travels 92 million miles to make us warm and happy during the day. And at night, some of the starlight we see has traveled billions of years to get here on... You're having some deep thoughts, huh? I want to make a joke about me being a star, but I'm too busy being amazed by nature. Nothing seems too different entering the month of May. I know... Or entering the month of June. I know that when we entered May, we had the cherry blossoms, and I kind of wish those would have stuck around longer. We'll have some different fish, and then I'll... I'll go fishing for this one fish to see if something's new, and then I will pop that balloon that was flying across my island, and then I'll go visit Harv's Island. How about that, huh? There you go, you see that. Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting still. Okay, is it a new type of fish? I hope it is. It is not. It is the most common fish in the game. Darn it all. Fine. All right, where did that balloon go? How far could it have gotten? Hmm, never put the bridge down here, okay. Well, I will go along my water. Oh wait, well, hang on. Oh, I saw it, I saw it for a second. Okay, it's up here. All right, let me open up the other gifts I got. We're gonna chase after this balloon. We're gonna get it, folks. So I got mom's handmade apron. All right, I'll put that on. Oh, okay, I can't put that on immediately. All right, and then I'll open that up. And that's oval glasses. All right, tell you what. Tell you what, I'll put these items on. Bangle says it's sometimes fun to look like a completely different person, and you know what? She's kind of right. So, boom. That's what I look like now. This is what I'm going to wear today. An apron. All right. And oval glasses. There you go. Okay, these, these are a bit different than I was expecting them to look, but I'll take what I can get. All right, we got to intersect the balloon. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. On delay, on delay, on delay, and then you're here. Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? Ever had someone ask you, are you listening to me? Uh-oh, time for reactions. That's when you do this sort of thing. Oh, yeah, you say. Absolutely. Didn't that look like I was listening? You can pretend to look interested by bobbing your head up and down. Agreement can save your butt. Hmm. What exactly does that look like? It seems a little too basic to be a reaction. That's it? I shouldn't say that's it. It just means that the other reactions are a lot more fun to use. All right, fine. Let me dig this up real quickly. And let me intersect that balloon. There we go. Get in the fossil. Okay. All right, so the balloon can be somewhere up here. At least track of it. Let me get the slingshot out so I can at least look up. No. Oh, yep, 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 yep. It's over there. Darn it. I'll have to catch it all the way on the opposite side of the island. Ugh. My island is not easily maneuverable just yet. It's still under construction. Ugh, a lot of work for one balloon, not gonna lie. My money tree grew in. That's good. All right. I could use the money. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take the weed clump. Sure, why not? Okay. So in order to get... No, I'll get this weed clump too. In order to get this balloon. And weed clumps are just popping up. What happened? I let too many weed clumps pop up. Oh, I've got so many more things I gotta do with my island, and I'm trying to celebrate the month of June, but I can't do that quite yet because I'm busy going after the stinking balloon. All right. Whoa! There's a bug in that tree. Let's see if I can get it. New bug? No! Frick! What did I do wrong? Why did I bonk the tree? Oh, now I'm in a really bad mood. <laughs> I finally saw it before I could scare it away, and then I did what I thought I was supposed to do, and it still got away. What the heck? I thought the game would automatically lock it on to the bug. Alright, it's only the first month. Hopefully I can still get it. Let me dig that up. It's gonna take the balloon a few more seconds to get to this chunk of the island. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well, in any case, there's still plenty of stuff for me to do today. You know, when May started, I got to do the May Day maze. And now June is starting and I can go to Harb's Island and see what that actually is. Okay, man, I just, <laughs> lots of fossils, I guess that's good. All right, there we go. Eh. Doing all this in mom's apron. All right, plenty of fossils, hopefully at least one of them's new. And then I see the balloon. I see the balloon, or I see the shadow of the balloon. All right, I guess I just got to wait for it to get over here. There it goes. Okay, there it is. Let's go. We're just gonna wait, guys. We're gonna wait. I've got the aim ready. Do you guys see any beetles and any other types of trees? Because I'm not seeing anything. Oh, well, hopefully whatever is in this balloon will be absolutely worth it. Try that again. St too far away after all that. There! Finally! Just in time for my slingshot to break. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, I had to stop by the shop anyway. Okay, give me this, please. What? is in it we have boom batter's helmet all right I'll wear that too all right guys this is my outfit today based on what the game has provided to me I'll get some tree branches sure any other bugs though I swear that was a new type of bug and I want to get it Ugh! let me do one quick walk around see if that bug dares show up oh that that actually might be a new bug is that a fly or a mosquito I think that's a mosquito Come on. I can't can't do anything right today. Come on. Come on. Finally. All right. I caught a mosquito. It's itching for a fight. Yep, that's a new one. New to June. All right. How's my inventory looking? Oh, my inventory's full. All right. I'm not going to go fishing right now. I'm going to get back and I'm going to pick up this tree branch. I'm going to shake this tree. That one had money in it. All right. I'm done testing my luck shaking the trees today. I don't want to deal with a wasp right now. Because even if I catch it, it's not like I could sell it. I'm out of inventory. Alright. Here we go then. So I am going to go to the shop now. Sell some of my belongings. Get some bells. See if there's anything I want to buy. And then we're going to go to Harv's Island. Or actually, I might stop by resident services real quickly. And see if I can get my daily Nook Miles. And see if, you know, any, any person in there has anything extra to add. But let's see. Another mosquito. No, no, I only need the one. Now I don't feel as good about catching the mosquito if they're just going to be that common. But I guess I had to catch one eventually, right? Okay. 
for now. Let's head on back. What are even my Nook Miles opportunities today? If I need to catch fish or catch bugs, maybe I'll prioritize that. Go fishing, catch fish. All right, maybe I'll do that. And then sell fruit. What am I holding that I can dispose? Uh, okay. Let's let's stop by Blathers' place first. Get the fossils assessed. And then we could sell whatever he doesn't want at the shop for even more bells. And then I can sell fruit later. Okay. Oh, did they, did they change the windows? I feel like they did. Don't know if it has to do with the month of June or with the day of the week. Also, I never actually checked what the DIY recipe was. Let me see. I dreamed I was an ultra super big time master of DIY. Here's the recipe I made in my dream. I almost ate it because I was sleepy and hungry, but I'm glad I didn't. You should try making it too. By Cranston, the smart guy. Cranston, you made an angled signpost, and I already know the recipe. Okay, well, let's head inside Blathers' museum. I imagine the stamp rally is over now, Blathers. You don't have to tell me about it anymore. It's also past 6 p.m. now, so you should be awake. Hi, Blathers. I look a bit different today, but I suppose I look a bit different each day. Welcome to the Nakwadith Museum! How oh, may be of service? Yeah, no more stamp rally. That's fine, I did it. Okay, I'm all flunter. I want you to assess these six fossils, and hopefully you'll tell me that w at least one of them is new. Let's see. Woo, more than one I see! Let's take a closer look, shall we? Woo, hooray! Finally, a new fossil! Very good. You have a challenge for finding the finest of fossils. Now, I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Aquanet is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. But think of what I've said. The museum awaits. Okay. Great. All right. Well, let's make a donation then. How many of these fossils are new? One? Just the one. And it is a spino tail. And hopefully that's the last part I need of a spino. You can have the mosquito as well. Woohoo! Several things I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Splendid! We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, uh, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, that is it. Thank you. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Thank you, Blathers. Okay. Maybe I will do a little extra fishing before I go to Harv's Island today. I mean, I'm right next to the museum, and there's all sorts of new fish in the water, right? Alright, are there any shadows right now? Or should I just pick up some fruit and sell the... Oh, that's a new shadow. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Please be a new fish. Please be a new fish. Happy June. Okay, it's already on. It feels a little heavy. What we got? Nope! This is a fish I've already caught before. Come on! Well, I've got one more inventory slot, and I would like to use it toward catching a new type of fish. So let's give it a try. At least I can get nook miles for it. Alright. Fish silhouettes. What do we got? What's in the water right now? I know that there's some vanilla clams, and while I could dig them up, I don't want to devote today to fishing, so... Hmm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Anything down here? Anything? Alright, tiny fish. Can it... Are there new tiny fish? I'm sure there has to be. Let's see. Okay, wait. 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 Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Please be a new fish. I don't think I've caught that one before. Yes! I caught a surgeon fish! Scalpel, forceps, fish hook! I don't think that's new to June, but I definitely haven't caught one before. There we go. How'd I do? Oh, get miles. Fill in your critterpedia with fish and earn miles along the way. Can you categorize each and every type of fish that swims in your island's waters? Hmm? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. All right. Well, there you go. I've caught 40 different ki kinds of fish. Great. Well, with that all done... I have no issue at least releasing this fish back into the ocean. So release the sea bass back. Alright, let's get some fruit so I can sell it at the shop and clear a Nook Miles objective. So boom, we'll get the pears. I only need to sell five. I'm going to pick up six. So there's three. Pick up another tree branch while I'm at it. And then I'm going to get these pears right here. Alright, there we go. Boom. Four, five, six, and one more tree branch for good luck. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the shop. Let's sell some fruit. Let's sell a bunch of stuff. All right. Well, at least I caught a new fish today, but I want a June fish. Oops, that's not the shop. This is the shop. All right. Let's see what we've got. I've really got to rely on selling stuff because I didn't buy any turnips this past Sunday, and that's generally the easiest way to make a profit. Whoa, you're just, he's got a fan over there, huh? Because it's June and it gets hot. Trust me, I get it. All right. What do you need today? I want to sell! Of course, what exactly are you offering? I'm offering this, 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 mm, 
that, 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 that. I actually am going to sell the Mama Panda. That, that. All right, are we good? I've got 60 iron nuggets. I don't need that many. All right, I'll sell some extra iron nuggets. Good. And then angled signpost. I guess I'll hang on to that and drop that off in my office. Okay, that should be worth plenty of bells. All right. 32,000 bells, thank you! Okay, very good. Well, there we go. Got Nook Miles for selling the fruit. Alright, what are my other options for today? Catching bugs. Alright, I might have to do a little bit of both. Sell a hot item for a fortune. Probably won't be doing that, though. Alright, this looks like a mini fridge. Is that what that is? Mini fridge, yep. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. I'll buy it. I'll put that in my house. I have to stop in my house anyway. I gotta stop by the museum again. Drop off this new fish I got. And then... I need to buy a slingshot. That's right. Almost forgot. Okay. And then I will take that outdoorsy slingshot. Thank you. Very good. Nope, that'll, that'll do. Thank you. Okay. I'm still wearing mom's apron. I'm still wearing these blue oval glasses that Bangle gave me. And I'm wearing this helmet that I shot out of the sky. It's a great combination, if I may say so myself. Alright, let's drop off this fish with blathers. And then let's drop off some items at my house. And then I guess I'll finally go to Harv's Island, okay? And then I can fish and catch bugs later. I don't have to do all the Nook Miles achievements today. I just wanted to. Alright, make a donation. I got a new fish for you, blathers. There you go, boom. Okay. Uh, Woohoo! Why, this is a surgeon fish! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your surgeon fish? Not right now. Sorry, Blathers. Oh, I see. Another time, perhaps. Well, then, let me assure you, we shall take very good care of your donation. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that'll do it. Thank you. Very good. Well, another fish in the museum. But I want to get another big fish. I know there's new big fish added to the month of June. Come on, let me get something good. Any shadows out here that are big? Anything? No? Should I just go to Harb's Island? Oh, I said I'd stop by my house real quickly. So there's another chance for some more fish shadows to spawn. Okay. Stop at my house and drop off some items. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Heading inside. Okay, so where am I going to put the mini fridge? I don't know just yet, but that might be a good living room type item. So... Yeah, I mean, some stuff's going to move around eventually. But for now, we will put the brow line glasses in storage. We will put the dining lantern in storage. We will put the pedal board in storage. Actually, maybe I should put the dining lantern up now before I forget. Look, okay. One thing at a time. Let me put the DIY recipe down. Then I'll put the lantern up in the kitchen. Then I will head out. <laughs> That's all I really can do right now. Okay. So drop item. And then mini fridge, you can go in storage for now. I might even forget I have that later, but that's just how it's going to be right now. And then this can come over here. And then the shovel can come over here. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to go to Harv's Island today. I know we're almost 20 minutes into the video already, but I've got stuff I must tend to. Which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. But there's so many things I can do today. Okay. Well, we are going to head into my kitchen. And then we are going to try, okay, so we're going to go into the storage option. Okay, so boom, boom, time, or no, time, we should do time because it'll be right at the top, right? So, okay, move to pockets, very good. Type, alphabetical, sure, okay. So, if I do this, hang on wall, okay, well, I'll, I'll move it around then. So, boom, 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 okay. So now, let me go to the customization option. Let me switch to walls, and let me move it. Oops. I want to change which wall it's on, darn it. Grab. There we go. I want it to be right in between. All right. That'll do. We now have a lantern right there. Yeah, I think that's kind of nice. So if I mess with the lighting a little bit, mm. doesn't change much, but I do like having it in the room. There is a little glow on it. Nice. Nice. Okay, that'll do it then. 
to Harv's Island unless there's one more fish shadow that wants to show up and potentially give me the chance to catch a new type of fish, but we'll see. <laughs> For now, I will slowly make my way towards Harv's Island. It's not like I don't want to go to Harv's Island, it's just that I want to catch a different kind of fish, you know? There's none in my little pond right here. There any along the beach right here? There is! Come on, please be a new kind of fish, please. Oh, I would love a new kind of fish. Oh, I gotta get a little closer. Come on. You see that, right? Wait. Wait. Okay, it's on. Feels a little heavy. What do we got? Nope! The same old fish I always get! Doesn't matter what day or time, it's always in the water. Always. <gasps> that one has a pin on it. That's gotta be a shark. Come on, give me the shark. Give me the shark. Swim a little more north. Come on, that's that's a new one, please. I would love a shark right now. Sharks are awesome. Here we go. It's already on, it's already on, it's already on. Come on, shark, 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 shark! That's a new one, though! I caught a sucker fish! I thought it was a shark. Oh, now I get it. Sucker. It got me, but it was a new type of fish, and I needed it anyway. Very good, and now I've got my Nook Miles achievement for fishing. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Boom. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Catch a wharf roach. Well, I, I guess I can knock that out real quickly if there's... Oh, no, there aren't rocks right here, right? There's rocks up here. Okay, well, I'll catch... I'll catch a shark eventually. Huh, I guess I can't get a wharf roach immediately. They're not on the rocks right now. But some of these fish have fins now. Yeah, I thought it was a shark, all right. But a new fish is a new fish. Let me give that to Blathers. Then I will finally, finally go to Harv's Island. Okay. Well, here you go, Blathers. Ready for this. But there may be something with which I can assist you. Make a donation. I got a new fish already. How exciting. There you go. Sucker fish. It got me. But I had to catch one eventually. Now, I might interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sucker fish. I'm a little busy. Sorry, Blathers. I've been putting up Harb's Island for long enough. But I'll be back in here with a great white one day, and you can tell me all about that one. Yeah, sharks are cool. Obviously, when I was a kid, I thought that there were these big, monstrous creatures of the sea, and they are powerful, don't get me wrong. But when you get older and you learn the truth about the ocean, you learn that sharks are actually very friendly creatures, and that the true thing you should be scared of is a freaking octopus, because those things are terrifying. But the discussion about how terrifying an octopus actually is should be saved for another day. And instead, we should be glorifying how awesome sharks are, because sharks are freaking awesome. Okay. Any last minute shadows? I said I would go to Harb's Island, I know. I know. I'm not going to go too far on the beach right now. Just going to inspect this. Going to catch that fish. Hope it's something new. It ain't going to be a great white. It doesn't have a fin on it. You see that? You want to see the rubber duck? No? No? You don't want it? Alright, how about that one? You see that one. I'm ready for this one just to be a generic fish. Okay, it's already on. This one feels a little lighter. What do we got? Oh, hey! I mean, it's a cool looking fish, but I've caught it before. Alright, I wouldn't necessarily call that a generic one. Like, yeah, I've caught it before, but it's much better than getting a sea bass over and over and over and over and over and over and over again! Alright, fine! I'm going to Harv's Island now. Maybe he'll have a body of water over there. My luck for catching certain fish will be better, but he did request my help. So for the last 30 minutes of this video, and hopefully it only takes 30 minutes, I will go and assist him. Here I am. I'm ready. Hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Aquanet Airport! How can I help you out today? I want to fly! Roger! So, just to get the paperwork all official, where did you want to go? That's it, guys. I'm going to select the option. Visit Harv's Island for the first time. Huh? Harv's Island? Where could... Oh, I know! You're talking about that Harvey... That island Harvey lives on. Roger that, good buddy. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Time for takeoff. All right! Let's get you airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy? Got a walker who needs wings, over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? I'll never have the answer to that question because I've got some news for these Dodos. <laughs> I've never, never actually seen a Dodo in real life, you understand. I don't know what a Dodo would do. Oh, well, quick loading time. Touchdown, like watching movies in a toaster oven. We are parked and proud. Give a quack to wingback. Carrot cake static. Looks like we got a whole lot of radio chatter going on over yonder. Hmm. Okay. And who might these characters be? And should I take a photo? Oh, well, okay, we have automatic text going on. 
Hey, I hear you. We're still groovy and the anniversary shoot's gonna happen. I'm just, like, behind a little. Hmm, well, okay, but what do we do about the lovely sets? Prepping them ourselves could get a bit ticklish. Hey there, thanks for coming! So, I need to borrow you for a minute. Okay, so this here is Reese, and her main squeeze, Cyrus. They're married and in love, um, a whole bunch. Far out, right? Anyway, they want to get some anniversary photos made. Fancy ones, with sets and stuff. And cause it's June now, and June is wedding season, uh, here they are! June is a whole season now, whoa! Thing is, I'm cool with lending out my studio, but my wedding sets are running slightly behind schedule. I'd ordered decorations and painted the walls and floor, but then a neat bird flew by and there went May. Long story, uh, long, someone still gotta move stuff around so it looks like weddingy, then snap some photos. So I think I could ask you to be that someone, you'd really be helping the shutter dog out. Alright, well I like taking photos for thumbnail purposes anyway, so yeah, I'll do it. Really? Wow, you are solid on down. Come on, let's go. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. This is my wedding picture studio. It's, uh, actually my kitchen with some walls put up. Let me know if you get hungry. It's your kitchen, huh? Yeah, very fancy kitchen, I'm not gonna lie. Since it's your first time in one of my studios, let me give you the quick rundown. Or let me give you the rundown real quick. You can press... Down on the D-pad to change the decor in a studio, just like you do at home. Oh, and speaking of set decorations, I've got a special deal going with Nook Shopping. So if it's in your catalog, you can just borrow one on the spot to use in your set. Sweet like granola, right? Oh, one thing. If you gotta take five part weight, though, no prob. But talk to me before you go back in, okay? Otherwise, Reese is in charge. If you want to know what to do, she's your alpaca. Cool? Cool. I owe you. Alright. So I just gotta decorate the room and make it look like it's a wedding? Oh, that's a cute transition. Hello there! I'm sorry, that wasn't her voice. Hello there! It's so nice to meet you! I'm Reese, and I'm just pleased as punch that you're helping us out! And this is my hubby, my darling! The name's Cyrus. Good to meet ya. I just know these photos are going to be so romantic, and just in time for our anniversary! Of course, we do this every year for our anniversary, but it's always special, isn't it? It's just like... A slice of life from that year. A delicious slice, almost as sweet as our love. Right, hon? That's right, sweeter than the sweetest fried dough. Oh, you, such a romantic. Oh, sorry, I forgot what we were doing for a second there. We just got so lost in our own little world sometimes. Anywho, so here's what we're thinking for this year's photo sets. A recreation of our entire wedding day. And you can help us by making this place feel like we're saying, I do, all over again. It'll be just like decorating your own place. Easy peasy. Oh, I almost forgot. My amazing Psy guy even built some custom wedding furniture for the shoot. Isn't that so sweet of my schmoopy? He really put his heart into him, so I hope you can make them work. Just open up the event tab to take a look and grab what you want for the shoot, okay? Okay, hopefully, hopefully you don't have anything more to say because I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of strain on my throat. Oh, there's more. So today I'm thinking we should take a ceremony photo in a place that looks like a wedding chapel. It'll be just like a real ceremony, professing our love for each other in front of everyone. So romantic. What we're looking for is a cute set with plenty of pink and white. Preferably using lots of the furniture from my side guy made. Please let us know when you're ready to start posing. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay. All right, so it's just this, just this. So, if I go into here, all right, we got a wedding bench. Let me let me uh, set everything down, and then I'll move it all afterward. Okay, white wedding wall, white wedding flooring, blue wedding rug. Oh, blue wedding rug is already out. Okay. Ooh, how many of these we got? I just get a bunch of those. Nice, nice. That might be too many, but we'll make it comfortable. And then a riding chair. I'll get a couple of those. All right, it's wedding day, guys. <laughs> Great, it's a good thing I bought so many things over the course of time, so I can just have an unlimited amount here. Oh, Kidelki. So let's get things going. So that that's got to go right in the center, right? And then I'll we'll switch back to the floor. Okay, so all right, I got I really got to organize these. Maybe okay. Let me remove all those for a second. Get rid of all that. 
Oh, wait, now I got rid of too many things. I just wanted to... Okay. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, this can go furthest back, like right there. These all need to turn around. We're making this a comfy wedding, darn it. It's pink and white. All right, so here we go. Comfortable wedding. Okay, we got to leave the aisle way mostly clear. That's how weddings generally work. In fact, I should scoot this back a little bit so people can actually, you know, sit in them. Okay. In fact, this should probably go back an additional space because I want to put regular chairs at the front. So, boom. Okay. There you go. There you go. I've never... Can't say I've ever organized a wedding before, but if it's this easy, kind of fun. Not gonna lie. Especially when you have unlimited furniture. Makes things a whole lot easier. Okay, so I might have taken out too many of these pink chairs, but, you know, it'll do. It'll work. Okay. So, boom. There you go. And then two more. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna need two more out afterward. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of these two characters, Reese and one of the other guys' names say it was, Cyrus. Well, very good, Cyrus. I need to find the pink, the pink, the, the pink again. There it is, two more. Okay, and then I'll get the Imperial Dining Chairs out in a moment, so boom. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. No, not the rug! The rug can stay, that's fine, I need the chair. All right, so there we go, boom, boom. All righty, now what I want to do, well, you know, this is coming together. Oh, these aren't equally spaced, though. Uh-oh, well, I guess you could, okay. No, I need to, I need to, I'm not taking a picture just yet. I need to move more stuff. These were not evenly spaced. These need to go back one. And maybe these need to go. Maybe just the back wall should be, Okay, hang on. So maybe I should move everything up one instead. Instead of moving everything back. No, because then... Because then there won't be enough room to put all the fancy chairs at the front. Okay, hang on. So finish that for a moment. I'll organize this better in a second. I need to get this. And then I need to push this. Let's get the regular chairs out next. So not the director's chair. I need... Yeah, we'll get six of these. Five, six. Okay. It's not pink or white, but hopefully it'll do. So we'll get three on this side. Darn it! No! No! Alright, so one, two. I guess one should be a little closer, right? Nope, I can't actually set it there. Okay, hang on. Let me... How is this looking? Nope. Alright, yeah, we'll scoot this one more back. Darn it. That'll look close enough, I suppose. Alright, boom, boom, boom. Alright, and then across from it. We'll have boom. I need, to, I need to move these over. Hang on, okay. So, hop. There you go. Is that lined up properly? No, it is not. Thank goodness I can change the camera angle around. So, it's eventually going to need to go there. This needs to slide back one. This needs to slide back one. Working with this angle is a little trippy, actually. Okay. And boom. This can go here. Right? Is that lined up? No. Hang on. Yeah, this needs to scoot over one. Okay. That needs to scoot back. Okay, so can I sit down on these? No, I can't. I can only sit in the front ones, which is fine. It's not a big deal. All right, well, what, what, I mean, what else do I got? Oops, I don't want to take a picture yet. Not yet. I know I've got a bunch of other random items that would be fitting for something like this. So, boom. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? I have wreaths or something, right? Bunny Day stuff? No, I don't think so. Mm. Music? Oh, well, usually there's... There might be some sort of microphone at the front, but no, that's not necessary. How about... A to <laughs> put a toilet on the, on the set if I wanted to. Clothesline? No. Dressing rooms? No. It, it's mainly just chairs, right? Like, I, I don't know that I have many other celebratory things I could put up. Ooh, actually, the lights would be a good idea. Oh, see, if only I could spawn this many lights normally. Okay, well, fine. I got the cherry blossom lights here in the back. There you go. That's some pretty lighting. In fact, I think I, think I want 
more of those. I want more of them. Get four more out. Very good. So, one can go here. One can go here. Or actually, no. I kind of like the placement of that one. Which also points out that this should scoot in one more. These should all scoot in one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I decided to get greedy with these cherry blossom lights. Okay, so, just make sure it's directly across. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think I set it down one by accident. Directly across, directly across. Very good. Okay. What else do I have? Hmm. <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time on this, so it's probably not going to do anything. Ooh, a fountain, though? An indoor fountain behind them? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, will that even fit? I don't think so. Come to think of it, you guys don't need that. Get rid of that. That's not doing anything for me anymore. But if I can stick a fountain behind there, that'd be really pretty. Okay, a stall? Hmm. No, I don't, I don't think so. I can make it say something. Yeah, I can't put the fountain in there. It's too big. Okay. I might get that other thing I had out, back out. Okay. Yeah, clothesline some plants. Nah. Nah, if I had cherry blossom trees, I'd put them there, but I don't. I do not. I, I have plenty of blossom viewing lanterns, thankfully, but, you know, I can only do so much beyond that. Okay. What, I had that pink bench over there before. Let's get that back out. It wasn't a cute sofa, was it? It was... Didn't he say he had, like, exclusive items I could set out? Was it a cute sofa? No, it was, it was like, a, a wedding-specific thing. So, here. Event, yeah. Event is what I want. There we go. Boom. Set that back out. Slide that over to the middle. There we go. We all set? It might seem a little basic, but it's very pink and white. Do I want the... I could, like, swap... No, it's not gonna matter. Okay. This is fine. This is enough. Hopefully they'll be happy with it. I think it looks kind of neat. So, let's get the picture out. So, ooh. We got lots of different options here. Well, let's smile for the camera, huh? Here, and then let's... There you go, there you go, there you go. Get all sorts of different angles here. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, zoom in a little bit, actually. Go about there. And then, let's get the date. The date's important. June 1st, baby! And then... Oh, now look at the camera. And then delight. Okay, there's a photo. Marvelous, marvelous, you're doing great. All right, let's scoot this over a little more. Zoom in a little more. Scoot that back a little bit. Let's see, what expression do I want? We'll do glee. There you go. Okay, all right. And then how about one right down the middle, huh? Get the nice, interior background right there. Zoom in a little bit. All right. Three, two, one. Looking good. All right. And now if I press minus, that gets me out of the shot. So now I can just focus on you guys. All right. Happy wedding day, everybody. Here we go. Can I, I can't change your emotions. All right. Well, then this will do. And we'll do one that's completely zoomed out. So you can see the whole thing. Very good. Oh, no, she blinked. Let's try that again. There you go. All done. I did it, guys. I did it. Oh, hang on, wait. I can't change your emotions. No, I can't. That just allows me to get the emotion I had out right back out. Okay. Well, that's fine then. I took the photos. I did it, you guys. So I can just walk out now, right? And we'll be all done? I hope so. Once again, it's a very cute transition, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Harp, I took some photos. So, uh, gonna do more anniversary photos with Reese and Cyrus, or do you got a question about the studio? Uh, anniversary photos, I guess. Right on! Give me half a sec to get my kitchen, I mean my wedding set ready. Hold tight. But I, I took the photos. I even took some with me not in them. Aren't they content? No, you, oh, well, I guess I gotta talk to her, right? Oh, it's coming along! Does this mean you're ready for us to start the photo session? Oh, those photos were just for me. Whoopsies. Yay! This is so exciting! Um, before we get started, I do have another teensy request. Will you be our photographer? I mean, I assumed as much. Don't get me wrong, Harvey is great! It's just, this lovely set is your vision and I want you to realize it! So when you're ready, just press the auto launch the camera app and press plus to take a picture. If you find yourself in the frame and you don't want it to be... Okay, so I gotta do it again. 
I gotta do it again. But I already, I already. All right, I won't be in the frame for this one. All right. There you go. All right, and chase. There you go. So that's it, right? I took the photos. Oh, the last one seemed nice. Mind if I take a quick peek? Did you take more than one? I'll just look at the last one if that's okay. Good to know. Go ahead. It's all yours. Great. Now let's see. Oh my goodness. It's everything I could have wanted. You've somehow captured all the joy and love that my darling and I share in one amazing photo. I love it. Anyway, I have a little something to show our appreciation. I hope you like it. My side guy made it just for you. It's a wedding bench. Oh, it must be the bench that's right behind you. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. And because I'm just full of surprises, I also have some heart crystals for you. Heart crystal? What the heck is a heart crystal? Oh, he'll trade you for furniture. Hmm. So I guess I can come back and keep doing this and I'll get heart crystal each time and I can exchange them for furniture pieces. Okay. Well, very good. You know, this was so fun. Would you be interested in helping us out again tomorrow? Tomorrow? You have the studio rented for the entire month? Maybe. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. Thank you. Heart crystals, huh? Okay. Great. That's another mechanic in this game I have to think about now. Alright, well, what else is on the island? Can I do a little fishing? Would you mind? Let me see. No, I can't really do much else on the island. Looks kind of neat. And then this is blocked. Okay. Well, I'm all done, dude. Heard you got some real groovy shots in there. Good work. I'm still going to need some help tomorrow if you're interested. It'd, be, it'd really help me out. Think about it, okay? Alright. That's a maybe. Any fish? Any fish at all? Nothing? Alright. Let's go back. It's almost sundown. Attention, fledging! This squawker's got a transmission for you. Yes, you, Yoshiller! Dodo Airlines is now dabbing in item delivery and liquidation services. Start here. Now, for you, copy. See, you can flap all you want, but an overburdened bird will never get off the ground. Copy? You grookin' what I'm squawking? Sometimes you gotta do more than flex your wings. You gotta ditch some cargo to fly free. Copy? Copy. So, feel free to offload some of your goods with us, and we'll send them to your home or buy home base or buy them outright. Let me make sure I've got my beak on straight so I can plot out the flight plan for you. First, let's talk delivery. We'll ship your goods safe and sound straight to your home storage. And we won't bombard you with pesky handling fees, so fly high and book as often as you want. As for liquidation, well, let me just confirm that Dota's are collectors. Maybe your intel on that was lacking. But it's true, and this service is for those who don't want, who want to unload some of their excess baggage for extra bells. With Nook's Cranny, our partners on the ground, will buy all your packages for what you'd get via their drop box. Okay, so if I ever fly to this island or some other island, I imagine what he's saying is if I just want to sell items on the spot, I can do that. That was all the Dota, that's all the Dota info on these new services for now. Dota Airlines, over and out. Good to know. Well, I'm ready to leave. Train wreck Lime Sherbets is reporting Tango Taekwondo is go. Do you require assistance? Over? Hmm. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. You want to bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to Pear Town? Pear Town. Why do you got to call it Pear Town? I was almost done remembering the fact that my island started with pears. Like, yeah, I sold some pears at my shop today, but I don't want my island to constantly be associated with pears. Ugh. Why can it have been Apple Town? <sighs> but Pear Town's fine too, I guess. Alright, we are back. We are good. I have celebrated the first day of June by helping some people take some photos, which made for a good thumbnail opportunity. But, with 15 minutes still to spare, do I want to do some terraforming? What do I want to do? Do I want to do a little fishing? What type of fish are in the water right now? I'll catch some fish. I'll catch a shark. I'd love to catch a shark. That's a tiny fish. Hmm... Maybe I shouldn't de- Well, I, I mean, I was gonna say, maybe I shouldn't devote another video in a row to fishing, but... I mean, I already started the video with fishing. May as well end it with fishing, right? And then is that beetle on the on the trees back? I'd like another chance at that, please. Preferably today. Hmm. Looking for more fish in the ocean, because that's where a shark resides. It's not gonna reside in a lake. Rest assured, there are plenty of other animals and aquatic creatures that reside in a lake, but a shark is not one of them. If I want to catch a shark, which I know exists in this game, I gotta fish into the ocean, but all the shadows are so tiny. Okay. okay I'll pick that manila clam. Okay. What do we got? 
We got tiny fish here. All right, all right. We're doing a little more fishing. Oh, hey, I'm facing toward the water. Why didn't that count? There you go. Go after that, please. Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting. It's on. All right, you're a fast one. And you're one that I already have. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, it's going to be highly probable that I'm mainly going to catch the same fish over and over and over again. Some are much more common than others. And according to today, I have, what, 41 different types of fish in my Critterpedia? That's pretty good. Okay, and then there was a Nook Mild achievement for catching one of those slugs that exists on the rock sometimes, so I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that, too. Still got 15 minutes left. I did that wedding stuff more quickly than I thought. I guess I could add that to my daily regimen, but I don't want to do that every single day. That's a lot. Alright. Okay, we're waiting. There's a big shadow up there. I'll go after that next. We're waiting. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. New fish. Nope. Same thing I just caught. Fine. I will catch another fish after I dig up these two manila clams. Very good. Okay, there's one manila clam. There's two manila clams. Alright, don't swim away just yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch you. Alright. Here we go. Please, a new fish. I don't think it's gonna be a great white because it doesn't have a sh it doesn't have a fin on it, but take what I can get. Come on. Do you not see that? There you go, now you see it. Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting. Okay, it's on. Feels a little heavy. Please don't be a generic fish. It is a generic fish. Okay. Alright. Any slugs up here? Whatever it's called. No. Alright, let's work my way back around toward the other side of the island, and then eventually I'll turn these vanilla clams that I just dug up into fish bait. Didn't I just get this one? Did it respawn that quickly? Or did I just walk past it? Oopsies. Oopsies again. There we go. Third try is the charm. Alright, I don't necessarily have to go fishing into the ocean either. I know that there are new fish in the rivers. But I... Alright. If... Maybe that actually is what I should do, is rather than go fishing into the ocean, I should fish into a river. Because unless it's going to have a fin, it's not going to be a shark, right? And I don't exactly know what all the new fish are. So, okay. We'll keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Hey, there's a balloon, though! Another manila clam right here. Okay. Lots of manila clams. I love that. Okay. Give me one moment. I'm going to get that balloon. I'm going to get that balloon with this new slingshot I just bought. Oh, hang on. Moving faster than me. Okay. There you go. Alright, what do we got? We have... Ba -ba -ba, present. Shell wand. Do I know that? No, I do not. Okay, well, hey. Shot a balloon out of the sky and it taught me something new. Very good. We're walking through here. Keep my eyes open for... In case that beetle respawns on another tree. I'm sure I'll have another opportunity to get it in the future. I'm just upset that I blew it. There you go. That could be a new type of fish right there. Let's give that a whirl. Let's try and get something new one more time, whether it's a new fish or a new bug. Although, I, I, the game is asking for me to catch bugs for a Nook Miles achievement. But I want a fish. I want the fish. There you go. You see that. Okay, it's already on. What do we got? 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 Is that a new one? Yeah, it is. Cool. All right. I caught a tilapia. It makes me hoppy. <laughs> All right. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, okay. I already caught something new. Still got 10 minutes to go. I don't want to get into the terraforming group just yet. So should I keep my eye open for new bugs? Should I just keep walking around the trees and hope I can catch that beetle again? So it can all come full circle? I could bonk the rocks and try to get some more money that way. That's probably not a terrible idea. There you go. And then right there. Alright. Money rock? Okay, that was not the money rock. So what do I care? I already blew my chances to hit the maximum number of times anyway. Okay. I want you guys to know that I'm playing this game using a pro controller, and sometimes my angles just get all sorts of messed up. I don't exactly know why. I thought the analog stick was a little more precise on the pro controller than on the Joy-Cons, and it de I mean, like, it definitely is. But, I don't know what's making me, like, miss the angle sometimes. I guess I just, maybe I do just rotate the angle slightly, and that's just on me. There you go, there's the money rock, though. Found it already. Alright, well, that task has been covered. Alright. Maximum money! Thank you. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. So that's all set. Take that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. 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 
Nice, almost back to 100,000 bells. I never stopped by resident services. I said I would do that and I didn't. I almost did not get my daily nook miles from that machine. Oh, that would have been terrible if I ended the video before I did that, huh? Hey, Leaf, I don't think I need to buy anything from you today. Thank you, though. All right, let's head inside. Resident services, hang on, guys, it's the first day of June. I'm here. You don't have anything new to say, that's fine. All right, there we go. Okay. There you go, almost at 70,000 nook miles. If I were to catch some more bugs, I'd be at 70,000. How's my inventory looking right now, anyway? Uh, okay. Well, tell you what I'm gonna do then. I will turn these manila clams into fish bait real quickly. I will do another bout of fishing and then attempt to get a shark. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and it's okay if I don't catch enough bugs to get the nook miles achievement today. I want the big ol' shark. So, let's craft. There we go. Alright. Hmm. I can craft these, and they're kinda nice, but it's not what I want right now. I gotta go to other... And I'm going to make eight bags of fish baits, and I'm going to use them all today if it means getting a shark at the end of the day. And then I will donate this shark, as well as the tilapia, to Blathers. And it will be awesome. Okay, there we go. There's two. Very good, very good, very good. Alright. Here's three. Very good. Okay. Here's four. Halfway through the amount of manila clams I picked up. Okay, okay, okay. Here's five. We're going. We're going, guys. We're gonna do it. Okay, there's five. Excellent. Here's six. Alrighty. Very good. Excellent. Here's seven. Okay. Awesome. And then here's the last one. Here's eight. Very good. Okay. Well, with that all set, I'm all done. Okay. There we go. Let's let's go to the to the pier and go fishing over there. I feel like my luck is sometimes better over there, unless there's a shark swimming about right here. No, oh, wait. Was there something? A tiny little fish right there. Okay, I'll I'll go for that real quickly. Not, it's, I mean, it's not tiny, but here, it's a skinny fish. Alright, give that a I can't even- there you go, you see it. Oh, it's already on. What kind of crazy shadow is this? Whoa! Yes! I caught a ribbon eel? Whoa! Okay, that's definitely new. Didn't have to use my fish bait yet. I am content. I am content. Alright, there's one more manila clam. I'll dig this up. Turn it into fish bait. Let's get myself a shark! This has been an excellent fishing day, generally speaking. If I get that shark, it'll be perfect. Alright. We're gonna get one more. All right. How's my inventory look? Oh, it's a lot more clear now that I've turned the manila clams into fish bait. Okay, let's head back. Sorry, hiccups. Let's head back over here. So, boom, let's craft. All right, boom, boom, boom. Very good, okay. Nine tries to get a new shark. I guess that explains why the shadow is so far away from the water, because I couldn't really make it out. And then it bit onto the to the lure super quickly and it started curling up. It's cool, I caught an eel, very nice. All right, I'm not gonna catch, oh, I guess I could catch this fish real quickly. I, I fear my fishing rod breaking at this point, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's go. You see it? Okay, wait. 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 Darn it! Did not wait. All right, that's fine. It's not the main fish I was trying to get anyway. I'm trying to get a shark right now. Hope you guys understand. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I could walk past you. That's my bad. No, you didn't have to get up. Okay, I'm sorry. Feels bad, man. I'm gonna walk past you now. Okay, not digging up any more manila clams. My focus is to go fishing. Now, any shadows nearby? Yes, there's that shadow. It's not a shark, but I'll catch it real quickly. Could always sell it for a few additional bells. And if it is a new type of fish, then I will donate it to Blathers. Okay, I'll pull that out real quickly. Give that a whirl. You see that? Very good. Okay, wait. Okay, it's on. Feels a little heavy. Please be a new fish. Nope. Alright. At this point, I'm just going to keep throwing fish bait into the water until I see a fish silhouette that has a fin on it. And if that doesn't show up, then oh well. So if it doesn't have a fin, I'm not fishing for it. Nothing, really! Freaking nothing. A tiny fish? Nope, but that's not a fin. 
I'm gonna stick to my word just because we're running out of time. Nope. Try again. Nope. Try again. Come on, give me give me a shark. There we go! That has a chance of being a shark. Come on. You see it? Okay, it's already on. Feels a little heavy. Come on, a shark. Yeah, baby! Woo! Perfect fishing day! Big old shark! I caught a great white shark! Watch out for its jaws! Oh, Blathers, do I have some great news for you. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna catch some bugs. Get that Nook Miles achievement after all. Give me that mosquito. Give me that mosquito. Give me that mosquito. There we go. That's what I'm talking about! Woo! I mean, its shadow looks way different than the other bugs, so I guess it really isn't too difficult to catch by comparison, but I'm glad I got it! First day of June, baby! Catching this bug! Alright, alright, alright! Very good, very good, very good. Alright. It's okay that I didn't catch that beetle because I got a great white shark, baby! Woo! I love it. Oh, hey, another presence. Don't mind if I do. Here we go. Hang on, let me try it again. I got plenty of tries now. This is a, this is a new slingshot. I bought it today. Alright. Whoops, not that. What is this? Here we go. Underwater wall? Yeah, I want to learn that. That sounds awesome. Okay, great. What does that look like? Let me see. So, boom. Let's see. I want to sort by new. It. Oh, wait, I just I just had it. Order obtained. Oh, I've been looking for this because I saw some other YouTubers have this as a uh, a wallpaper. Oh, it looks awesome. But what is a summer shell? It must be a new type of shell that only shows up, well, as of June. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, Tybalt? I've got something for you. An emblem blazer. You guys are so nice. You're just giving me a ton of stuff. Okay, you're just trying to make my day better. Mac gave this to me the other day, but I already have one at home. There's no point in me having two, so I'll pay it forward to you. Grop! Okay. All right. I'll put that on real quickly. There you go, man. Nice! It does go better with the helmet, I'm not going to lie. Okay. All right, here, another bug, another bug. Here we go. Let's get it. There you go. Nook Miles achievement, or do we have to get one more? Okay. I, that's not blinking. Okay, I, I need to get one more. Hmm. Any bugs want to show up on these flowers right now? Any more locusts? Oh, there's a butterfly right here. There you go. Alrighty, very good. That ought to do it. Really, no? How many more do I need? One more? One more. Okay. One more bug. One more bug. And then what's this? A summer shell? Giant clam. Okay, now I'm on the lookout for summer shells because I want to make that background. I'll use that for the basement when I finally get it. Or my bedroom. It would look cool in either. Alright. Got to catch one more bug. And then I will go and visit Blathers and I'll donate these new fish and then I will call it a day! And I will call it a job well done. Now let's see, does that beetle want to show up on these trees again? Does the beetle want to show up on the stump? Yes, yes, it, there, I mean, I've already caught this type of beetle, but if I can catch it again, I'll at least get the Nook Miles achievement. There we go. Alright, I'll catch that beetle I missed at the beginning another day. For now, I will gladly take the Nook Miles achievement. Thank you. Boom, puts me over 70,000 Nook Miles. And then access my wardrobe. Alright, I can do that real quickly. Let's get dressed back into something I'll normally wear, so I'll already be set for tomorrow. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent! Alright, let's get dressed. There we go. So what do I want to wear tomorrow? I'll put my... I'll put the... Hmm. I don't know, actually. Hey! I'll put that on. And then the hats. Hmm. I'll put uh, that back on. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then bottoms. There you go. We'll go in blue. We'll go with the blue look. I'm liking that. All right, got dressed. Very good. More Nook Miles, we'll gladly take those. Thank you, boom. All right, let's finally go to Blathers, drop off my new collection, my new items, and we'll be all set. Oh, that's so much better. I think I just scared away the beetle again. I think, oh no, maybe not. I don't know what I saw. All right, I'm gonna donate the or I'm just gonna ask him about the Great White Shark individually, just because I want to see what he has to say about it, and then I'm gonna donate everything at once. Blathers, hello. How are you doing, my man? Might there be something with which I can assist you? 
Yes, I would like to- I want you to tell me about the great white shark. I'm intrigued to see what you'll bring me next. Yes, please tell me about this beauty. There you go. Woo! Indeed hoot! What a splendid great white shark! Great white sharks are obviously known first and foremost for their biting. They are masters of the craft! They do lose their teeth regularly though, biting related acti- through, through biting related activities, but luckily those teeth grow back quickly. In fact, their missing teeth can be regrown in a single day. Just imagine their tooth barrier related income! We are sorely lacking a great white shark, it pains me to say. I confess, I hope you'll consider donating yours. Oh, I will, don't you worry. If I catch more though, I would love to get a model out of it from CJ, but okay, let's make a donation. Alright, so boom, 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 and then I will assess the fossil afterward and donate that. Splendid! We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out, I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, assess the fossil. Let's see if this is a new fossil too. A model flutter. Alright, because it's just one fossil, if he doesn't have it, he'll take it off my hands immediately. So let's see. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Woohoo! After some consideration, I can safely declare this fossil to be a Stego Torso. A Stego Torso. Quite remarkable indeed. If only. Oh, yes! Yes, it is a new fossil! Oh, what a great ending to the day. Here you go. Is there anything else I can help? Oh, wait. Did he say he already has it? Yeah, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, even so, what a great ending to the day. Alrighty, folks. I caught a great white shark on the first day of June, and I am happy about it. For now, there is more of June to come. That wraps this video of Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you on future videos. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to know what other types of videos I plan to make, or if you just want to try and keep in touch with me, you can either subscribe to my YouTube channel here by clicking the button down below, or you can follow my Twitter account, at RealYoShiller. I post previews, and I post when I'm going to events, and if you want to interact with me, that's probably the best place to do so. Either way, I appreciate any and all support that you guys have, and I hope to see you all in the future.